presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. This is a great card. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you come, become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 11, Nasdaq's down 20, S&Ps are up 2, gold. Gold contract trading up $11.20 at 2018 an ounce. You get silver up 19 cents, $25.28 25, an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $80.83 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, trading up three ticks at 114.15, the 30-year up eight ticks at 130 flat. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 379 ticks at 101.724. The Euro is at 109, the Yen is at 134, and the British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We'll get right into the futures, and we just did that update in the futures. You can see it popped right out of that deal. There's not enough sellers out here uh, for lower price, folks, at this particular time. You can see what you have here. So you, you, and, and, so you have a consolidation at the top. That's what's going on here. Right off the bat this morning, they sell it right down, and they sell it down with volume. And you can see the last, the highest volume buy, though, is at that 4175. That's where the battles are going to take place. That's, that's the reality. So you sell down to that. They got to lower price. They rejected the lower price, okay? Then we get down to that 4164. Rejected that. Bottom line comes up. And let's just see what kind of retracement we did here. Tell, look at this, might love it. You did a 50% retracement intraday, and this is the this is the one I really want you to watch. So, the the bar that happened 10 minutes ago, folks. Like if you just looked at that bar, you'd say, "Oh man, this thing's going to get smoked." Well, what you have to do with time in the trade, you have to remember what it's going into. Well, it was coming into 86,000 contracts, and you only did 35. That's not how breakdown happens. And you can see we didn't even get to the low. Bottom line, now you flip on the other side of it. I suspect we're just going to flip around here. What is happening, you know, unfortunately for all us traders, <laughs> is that the volatility is calming down a bit, which, you know, it is what it is. But that's, that's what we have happening up here. So the movements aren't as big as we've been used to, you know, the last five or six months. I suspect, you know, these things will start up again. But right now, you know, you got to play smaller moves that that's the reality we go into the nqs we take a look at the nqs what do we have with the nqs out here the nqs right now you're going to see the same type of play out here yeah see it so the nqs what you got here your, your big bar came down to this uh 18,000 uh what was that 223 that had 76,000 contracts we get underneath that with 11. That's saying it's going to be right to the top of the range coming into the close. That's how that shakes out. So, And it, what is it going to be about? Well, it's going to be about this good old dollar. I suspect what we have here is this. Let's go, let's go over this because 
when I was away Friday, I want to thank Jacob for doing all my shows, too. He did a great job. Thank everyone for pitching in here. So when we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that Thursday and Friday, what's the, yeah, Thursday, yeah, Thursday and Friday, we were going after the, the place to keep your eye on, folks, is the strength where we came off the last um, low. So the last low in the dollar was that 100.82. We come off that and you go from, you get up to one, 103. Now the low of that is the 101,546. Well, you can see what ended up happening. We got down to the 100.788, but yet rejected that. You get higher yesterday, slightly. Today is just a backing and filling, man. That's all this is. This looks to me like you're going to get a small bounce. And, you know, what you can do is if you got a 0 0.382, let's see how this shakes out. Okay, so a 0 0.382 gets you to 102,700. A 0 0.50 gets you to 103,316. Uh, I suspect that's what we're going to get. It's weak, man. It's weak. And if we get that, what? We'll get over to the gold contract. Would you have gold? Gold's, gold's always tricky, folks. Okay, gold's in a confirmed ABC structure up. That's a 21.54. That being said, bottom line, I expect what you're going to see here, just do the opposite. We go this way and say, okay, what's a 0.382? A 0.382 is 19.73, right? So you can get there in a heartbeat. On the pullback, if the dollar goes there, gold's going to go down there. That Then all that does is put it, while well, it's in another complex ABC structure on the way up anyway. What that means is that you get over the B, you had the volume, you pull back, you pull back with light volume. We get over it again, we get volume again, you pull back again with lighter volume. Um, they're making it a little bit tough in there. That's the bottom line. We go over to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX. What you're also going to see is the same type of setup. The GDX might have just set up a, a small ABC down. It's not, it's not a big one, but the GDX today got to 35.19. You're at 34. You know, anything inside this 33.34, uh, it's going to be the same type of setup. You know, I suspect you're going to, you're back and fill, you get, you'll pull down, you'll have some light volume. Just frustrating, you know, the, basically all of us in the metal business. But that's what, that's what gold does. That's, that's the reality. And what that's going to be about is that when we take a look, it, that's just a, it's about a counter trend bounce inside of the dollar. That's what it's about. And, and if the dollar does that small counter trend bounce, that's, build, that's just building costs for lower price. That's, that's how this sets up. You know, if we take a look at the note and bond market, note and bond market still want higher price. You know, it, it was pushing into the low of yesterday today and you're pushing into that area and you do have lighter volume so um you know bottom line is that that's uh, that's what you know i see happening out here so the next few days uh today we almost got the test inside of the spy missed it by a few it's it wants to test that uh higher level dow industrials right now 14 nasdaq's down 14 s p's are up three and a half stay right there folks come back when i'm at mr battle chapman Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials are trading up at 8. NASDAQ is down 12. S&Ps are up 3. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side. You just hit the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. We get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. And they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, as well as Basil has about 10 to 12 great archives there so you can understand how you ride that wave each and every day as we trade these markets. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. And this is an interesting moment. You were just talking about it. So, you know, in my work, I'm always looking for four higher peaks. I'll just show this uh, for the moment to give the people who aren't used to it. Okay. I try to identify the lowest low, count each successively higher uh, peak. Yes. I alphabetize them sequentially, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But there's never an H, but it's at D, the fourth highest peak that other things can happen. So let me show you what we're looking at here. Uh, in uh, February, we made a peak, D in the Dow, 34,331, tumbled down to 31,429. That was a trough, D, on the 15th of March. And now, and as I've been saying, I think it's now about three weeks, I said, I'm anticipating we've got a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, which says that we should at least get to a D. Well, Yesterday confirmed the peak D because there was a lower high from the 34,082 level that was made three days ago. But look how we've just gone sideways. And what I've been saying for to, in my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour, uh, every day 10 o'clock to 11 Eastern Time, and tomorrow I'll go through this again, um, is that the nine period moving average is way over the 14 and the price is way above the nine and 14. That's number one. Number two is the MACD is still very strong. The stochastic is flat. I love a flat stochastic, especially when it's in the 90% area and this is 93%. So that doesn't tell you, <clears throat> oh, this is fantastic. You should scream to higher highs. It just says you've got a really strong base at this particular time. That can change and it will change over time. But right now, that's what we're looking at. So, and the unbalanced volume, this little blue line here, is somewhat over overbought. And that says we could pull back a little bit. But what I am looking at is if I 
translate this, and we've been long for quite from the lows, actually, <clears throat> and we're still long uh, the Dow. But most importantly, I'm looking at this weekly chart. So if there's a chance that even if it's intra-week, intra we spike above this level here, we can get into the 34,000. 100, 34,200, maybe even the test that 34,300 level again. <clears throat> That'll be the first breakout we've gotten from this pattern that I call the inside track repellent line. All of a sudden, that became that could become a propellant line. And for the for two week, well, last week at the close, and so far this week, the green. Nine period moving average is a positive over the 14. Okay. The MACD is cross positive, and the stochastic still weak at 69%. So there are some positive signs in the weekly chart, and all of this will impact, finally impact the monthly chart. We've got that same, see these two trend lines, resistance. If we can break out, that'll be the first time we've broken to the upside. That's important. So <clears throat> at big D, I always say other things can happen. So we're a little tentative here to say, well, got to be a little careful. Anything can happen right now. But with the technical so strong, I think there's, there's just enough residual strength to at least attempt to uh, get back into the 34,000s. So that's the Dow. <clears throat> What's also important is uh, we were looking at, you know, you and I were looking at the TLT last week. You asked me about it, and I said, well, it's very interesting because it's stuck in this rectangle. So I'll do this again in my show tomorrow morning. But I like to look at rectangles. Let me see if I can find it right here. There it is. I like to look at rectangles, a long rectangle, a narrow rectangle as one particular analysis. But the large rectangle says you can stay in that range for quite a while, just like the, the narrow one. But unless you're starting to move and break out to the upside, you've got to be somewhat careful uh, thinking that it is going to break to the upside. And here we are stuck in the middle. And that just says to me, I don't think bonds are an issue right now. Yields are just kind of in the range. So to me, that takes one thing off the table. You were talking about the dollar. The dollar, uh, and we've been along the dollar actually since 2018 at, uh, at I think it was uh, 1791. Uh, and here it is at 101. We've watched it go all the way up to 121, come tumbling down. This, the stop in the UUP that we had held, we went back to 105. Uh, 0.88 in the 8th of uh, March this year. And now we've come down. So there's a way of looking at it that I think kind of it's been working for a lot of different uh, um, instruments that we're looking at. And you can see the 100.82 100 low of the 3rd of February went up to 105.88. And in exactly the same time frame, it came down, but it missed it by three days. But it did go to 100. Uh, 0.79. So that means we've got the potential here for a, a double bottom, uh, just as we had the double top at the 105 area, uh, also with the price time match. And here it says, the I, I heard you talking about the dollar. I think the dollar has a chance to bounce a little bit, and that could coincide with some market weakness. So I'm trying to put this all together as almost a package. And you know, when you think of the Fed, I'm saying to myself, I would I would not like to be part of the Fed right now. I, I don't know how they're analyzing it. For instance, WT is uh, Wisdom Tree Inc. This is this is like a fund. And look, it's done so well. It's gone to a leg D. The last D saw a big sharp pullback to the 200 period moving average, but here it is at. Uh, um, it's almost a yearly, yeah, it's almost a yearly recovery high. So yeah, they're looking at the market. Then there's another aspect that I'm looking at, HY, which is Heiste Yale Materials Handling. This designs, engineers, manufacturers. Uh, these are lift trucks. These are trucks for basically the building area. So and aftermarket parts. And here it is, an all-time high. As we're speaking, it's at an all-time high. Then you've got builders. Uh, and you probably know a lot more about it than I do. Builders first source, and they are, they're really very involved in the construction area at new highs. So I'm saying to myself, wow, what 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 is the Fed going to look at? What are they they should have for years they should have been raising yields because if there was a demand for for the bonds, they should have been able to just automatically. That's the normal thing. They haven't done that. So I think they kind of caught it, caught in a in a in a very interesting trap. And the other aspect is the DB. Uh, agricultural fund is saying, well, 
uh, in the agricultural area, there's still uh, price increases because look, it's trading at it a very strong leg. We are along this from the 13s. Here it is at 2130. Uh, it's only a leg C in the weekly chart. And it's done a really good retracement from the, the digestive phase since it hit 2301 back in May. So yes, another inflationary aspect. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Fed does. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You can see it right in the right-hand side, the opening call. You hit that baby. You are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night. I'm glad you got a little spring weather. I was talking to my daughter. Absolutely. It was 80 degrees yep. yesterday. Fabulous. <laughs> yep, we're getting there. Thank you. And look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. Thank you, Tyler. Thank have a great you. Evening. Stay right there, folks. You're coming right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down two. Nasdaq's uh, 19. S&P's a flat. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And this will be a low volume day, too, by the way, folks. You get... Uh, Tesla's down uh, two and a half bucks. We get NVIDIA up five. You have, uh, let's see, telehealth's up at buck 30. Nothing really heavy out here. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. So you got Marvel Technology up 3.3%, uh, Marriott's up 2%, Airbnb's up 2 NVIDIA's up 1.8. Taken away from its serious satellite is down uh, three and a half. You got uh, Rivian off uh, Two and a half and Google's off 1.7. If we get into, okay, so we get into the GDX. If we go to the GLD and take a look at this, this is, this is all, all going to be about the currency moves too, folks. So if we look at the GLD, well, the GLD, the GLD today hasn't given it up on price. The GDX has, though. We, you can see the GLD is going into a 13 million, though, at six. So I suspect, you know, we're going we're gonna to get a pullback. 
Um, you know, this has been a one-way move on the way up. Uh, silver, we go take a look at the silver market. Silver got juice underneath it, no doubt. And silver's in an ABC structure up to, thir to 30 also. That being said, you're going to see if you take a look at this today. Put the volume on it. Yeah, you're going to see the silver's trying to get the higher price. You can see we made a high. The cool thing is we made a high with uh, 94,000 contracts. That's up at the 2670 mark. You pull back with light volume. You try to get higher today. Couldn't do it. 2454. If you get inside 2454 again, what you want to do is you, you basically kind of look at after these one-way moves. It's like, okay, where's the 0 .382 and where's the 61850 on these? Because that's where I suspect it's going to go. Now, what's intriguing about silver, which is pretty dangerous, actually, is you can see on the way up, you know, we have that high volume high. Hey, we'll, we'll see how this shakes out. You know, you, you, we should get support um, even at the 2463 level. Just depends on how long that we stay up at this level. If we stay too long up at this level, bouncing back and forth, meaning in the metals market, that's, that's a larger problem. I'd rather see a pullback uh, coming right now. Uh, platinum. Let's go take a look at the platinum market out here. Platinum spot. There we go. Let's get the. Okay, so platinum. Nice move on platinum today. This is a nice move. Let's see. It's about time. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, we almost, I think we had an ABC up. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, you do. So. It's not a big one. It's good. Platinum wants to go after its last high. That's 11.18. And if we go and look at the generic platinum, let's see where we're at. Okay. Put this back. Let's see what we got here. Whoops, I don't want that one. I want this one. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So we're coming right up to the trend line, man. The trend line we're coming up to is the trend line for 1348. If we break this trend, the, you know what's so cool about trend lines here, folks, okay? Is that this one here um, is, you know, 1348 is the beginning of the trend line. If we break this with conviction, that's where we're going, man. That's how this works out. Um, yeah, S uh, SBSW. That's a SBSW. They're the ones they had, they had taken over Stillwater. Um, and the low in this is uh, 782. The high 17 is trading 939. Yeah, look at this pop. Yeah, this is this is a good setup. Let's put this on a three year. Okay. Okay, so this one here. Yeah, I mean, the next swing in this is up at 1045. So, you know, the bottom line is that Platinum's going, this would make this equity go for sure. And this equity does pay a 5.67% dividend. And dollar-wise here, we do, yeah, they're taking a big money, man. Look at that, my God. So the South Africans, folks, the way this works in South Africa, they only report twice a year. But look at these numbers, man. Oh, that's all the, that, but that's gonna be in Rand. Yeah, that's Rand dollars. 67 billion. 90 days. And then ZAR, the RAND right now is trading 18 to 1, 18 and a half. So, um, you know, they, they'll, they'll, they're making money, man. That's the bottom line. Because what happens, what does happen is that when the RAND is also weak, so, the, you know, and it is weak, um, the South Africans can make a lot more money because they get paid in the U.S. dollars. Uh, for their metals, and they pay their payrolls in rand dollars. So, uh, bottom line, when it is a higher rand dollar, weaker rand dollar specifically, 
uh, bottom line that, you know, <laughs> it's called a rearing, and uh, they can really pull in some bread in a, in a monster way. Let's go take a look at Google. So Google is, you know, bottom line, fighting for its life inside the uh, GBT uh, in general. And it's going to get really interesting, you know, how this thing, how this whole thing's going to shake out. Because you get, you know, Google's owned this business forever. And the real question is going to be, is Microsoft getting a huge bite out of it? And I suspect they are. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out because bottom line is that, you know what this is like, folks? This is like if you years ago, um, you know, in the, in the electric bulb business, right? Oh, there's plenty of other electric bulbs that came out, but because GE had so many different patents on them, right? The bottom line, they weren't about to make them any better, and they could. Um, and this is kind of the same with, with Google. Uh, basically, they waited too long. That's my take on it. Um, you know, they, they had it in their back pocket. They could have done it, and the bottom line, they didn't do it. You know, Microsoft's saying, hey, man, I'm going out here. I'm going to do it. And it's going to make a difference, you know, because who would ever think that you go to Bing and, and do anything? You know, the only I, I've used Bing for a long time, but only for my front page because I like all the pictures waking up in the morning. <laughs> I never search on Bing, but on my computer, you know, you have the 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 pictures that they show are great. I mean, you can tell them what you want to show, and I, I do tell them what I want to want to see. Um, but guess what? Little by little, they'll chip them away, right? And it'll take years, but you know, little by little, they're chipping them. Oh, Netflix, so we're gonna do Netflix, coming up. Netflix is coming out with their numbers. Let's see what they are. So, that's right, and oh, this is cool because Netflix comes out right after the close. They're gonna be looking to take 8.2 billion to their top line, 286 to their bottom line. You stay right there. We'll bisect and dissect Netflix as soon as we come back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is trading down three. NASDAQ is uh, down 14. S&Ps are up two. And we're going to also go to Builders First. Because when Basil was just mentioning that that is a total mind blower, that Builders First is at all-time highs. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 9. You get the NASDAQ off 12. S&Ps are up 2. Let's go take a look at Builders first. I can I see this thing, man. Um, there we go. So... The low for the year is 48, the high is 96 today. Uh, next time they come out with numbers is May 3rd, and they're looking to do uh, $3.6 billion and bring $1.52 to the bottom line. Now, this gets really intriguing here. Now, watch this, folks. We're at highs. You see the contraction? <laughs> the contraction in dollars is unbelievable. Last year, the first quarter, they did $5.7 billion, 3.6. So I'm not quite sure why this is running to all-time highs. Let me pull this back a bit. Pull this back. Put this on. Look at this. This is bizarre, actually. But guess what? When it took out this high, it has some volume behind it, man. Holy cow. So you had the high. You pulled back. I almost pulled back to the high volume low. Missed it by 45.86. We did 48.91. Okay, so we took the high out with light volume. 57 million versus, that's not bad, versus 50. That's not bad. And you get a 3% chop position. Hey, we'll see where it goes. This is a great company. I, I deal with this company all the time, folks, okay? And this company here, when, what, what did happen is that when we're talking about um, I buy my wood, I buy my trusses off this company, and, you know, during the pandemic, yeah, the prices went up, but as soon as the lumber prices did, did change, without even asking them, the trusses went down 20%. I just can't figure out, I still can't figure out why it's at all-time highs when you can see the they're going to take in $2 billion or less. Hey, it is what it is. Now, let's go to Netflix. Netflix is coming out tonight. That's something closer to our hearts here. <laughs> 162 is the low. 379 is the high. It's trading 333. They are going to be looking to take in $8.2 billion, 286 to the bottom line. This setup here... Pull this back a bit. I believe this did just a 0.382. Oh, it did a 5.0, all right? Did a 5.0? Let's see. No, it did a 0.382. And it did that with tremendously light volume. Yeah, this is going lower. My take is this is going lower. Doesn't have to be a lot lower. But what's that number there? That's 301, 3, 305. See that big bar there? That's not, that's not a lot. 333 to 305. Not for, for Netflix, that's not a big number, man. That's what it comes down to. That should probably hold it up at that point, but that's telling me that lower prices are coming um, at Netflix. That's how that's set up. Amazon. Let's go to Amazon. We'll take a look at Amazon out here. So Amazon... 
Still hanging tough. See, Amazon has that high volume spike up here. It looks to me like that wants to get hit again. That's at 114 here, at 102. Amazon's coming out with their numbers the 27th. Okay. Goldman came out with their numbers today. And I'm sure that they're probably embarrassed that what happened with Goldman folks is this. They, they made money. Uh, but what they didn't do is that the rest of the you know, Goldman, you know, bottom line is a trading house, okay? And what they didn't do, they didn't get the same type of numbers inside trading bonds that the rest of the banks did. Um, you know, they still made plenty of money. They took in 12.2 at the front, at the top line. They made 8.79, uh, $8.79 to the bottom line. Um, you know, but you talk about bragging rights, okay? They don't have it. That, that's, that's the bottom line. Um, yeah, LMT. Uh, and this is the sad case of the, you know, you get Lockheed Martin, the lows 373, the highs 508. This is all about, you know, arms, munitions, uh, you name it. That's what this comes down to. And if this actually breaks, let me look at this for a second, because this has been trying to break the top. And right now, it has it by three bucks right now. It's going to need more than three bucks. You know, we'll see if we can get it going. You know, the uh, is it news out there today? What's the news out here today? Did they come out with the numbers today? Is that what happened? Let's see. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They came out with the numbers today. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, when you get the green checks, folks, <laughs> you know, the, when you get companies with green checks, the bottom line is that, you know, the amount of money that, um, comes into those companies is absolutely huge. Um, they don't seem to ever go away. Copper. Let's go take a look at the copper market out here. Copper right now, we're trading at 408 a pound. Yeah, this one's higher price, man. Yep. So you got you can see this pop. We took out the swings with volume on Friday, back and down with light volume. This looks to me like 433's game. Right now you're at 408. And if we go take a look at a couple of the copper stocks, Southern Copper first. Yeah, look at this, man. Yeah, Southern Copper's trading 81, 80. Oh yeah, look at this. This is looking to break its highs, man. What is that? Eighty-three fifteen. We're at eighty-one right now. You can see the expansion of volume. See the expansion of volume last month. Was that was a pretty good expansion of volume? Um, you know, we'll see how it handles these these highs because the high has thirty-seven million. We did thirty-one last month. Now it's falling off a little right now. The volume is, but <coughs> excuse me, folks. <clears throat> we'll see how that can handle it. Um, who do we have on the line, Al? I'll just take him. Only... Hey, Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, man, good. Um, so I just started looking at UNG here. Okay. And um, I was looking at kind of a, you know, this thing is, dropped out of the park. I, I really haven't followed the fundamentals. I just kind of came across it here uh, yesterday. Okay. And I'm curious to know your thoughts. If we have this um, commodity super cycle, yeah. would this be a, what do you think for a long-term hold on that? I mean, I know that there's long-term, you know, but um, man, it's looking pretty doggone cheap. <laughs> it's pretty doggone cheap because we have so much of it, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Do I, you... I understand that. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just thinking with... Uh, if, if, if we do accelerate on this war and all that, if, you know, I know. It's tough to say. Uh, yeah, just stay with me a second. We get, we'll get, we get another, you know, couple minutes. Stay right there. 
Stay, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We're going to be talking natural gas. And the natural gas we're talking, the UNG is out of Louisiana, which is very crucial to understand. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with um, Keith, and we're talking about natural gas and the UNG in particular. You know, you can take a shot here. Um, you know, I won't get married. Or don't get married to it. But, you know, you're at 734. Right. It'll probably... You know, this thing could get to, you know, 989, Keith, right? Um, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. the future contract itself, you know, you know, very well might have, might have double bottom at this $1.90. I mean, it went from 10 bucks to $1.90. So yeah. just I wouldn't get, you know, married to it, but you can, you can get a bounce. You know, the fu fundamentally what's going on with this particular contract, you got to remember, this is the Henry Hub, Louisiana we have more gas than we know what to do with. They burn it off every day. Okay, so, but okay. as a trade, you know, it, this is the first time that I've said this in years. <laughs> um, but you can see a little strength there. And if it, if it breaks lows, though, get out of the way quick, man. Don't screw around okay. with this thing. Okay. okay. Because fundamentally, we have that. so much gas. It's, it's, if you Google it, you, you, you're going to see it burning up every single day down in Louisiana. So... Right. But the way right. it's set up technically right now, you know, you can see your volume that's uh, at that nine dollars and sixty nine cents. You're only at seven thirty five, so it's not a bad trade, man. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Cool. I appreciate that. Do you have, have one more? Yeah, Caterpillar. Let's do a Caterpillar quick, right? Is that what you want? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. So, Caterpillar. Bang. Let me put this. 
I was thinking with a weaker dollar, we should have a little more action here topside. Yeah, I wouldn't bite on Caterpillar just yet. This is a big consolidation. So when you break, we broke the top of this, is that the, you know, the 246, once it gets underneath it again, it can go down to the bottom of the consolidation, which is the 166, so, yeah. Mm. yeah all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Great to be back with you, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. <laughs>